And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Zagongosaurus, which was a request from Tyrant King via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. Zagongosaurus was a mementosaurid sauropod that lived in the Middle Jurassic in Zagong, Sichuan, China. And it was found in the Sha Ximiao Formation. It looks like a typical sauropod. You know, it's large, on four legs. It's an herbivore, had a long neck. Yeah, as a mementosaurid, of course, it had a ridiculously long neck, I'm sure. Yeah, the authors who named it thought it looks a lot like Omeosaurus. And if that's the case, Omeosaurus, there's a few different species of Omeosaurus. But the one with the longest neck was about 30 feet or 9 meters long. Oof. Yeah, there's a lot of neck. So... Zagongosaurus was estimated to be about 50 feet or 15 meters long. Really quick, it is different from the dinosaur Zagongosaurus, which is a basal sauropod that lived in the middle Jurassic in what is now China. So they sound very similar. Basically, the difference is there's a ZH instead of a G, but those sound kind of similar in Chinese. It's J versus G. So. I was thinking they're similar in that they're both sauropods that lived in the middle Jurassic in what is now China. <laughs> I don't think it's a mementosaurid, but apparently it did have a long neck. Anyway, back to the dinosaur of the day. The type species is Zagongosaurus fusiensis, and the genus name means Zagong lizard. It was named in 1976 by Ho, Zhao, and Chao, and it was based on specimen CV00261, and that includes a partial mandible, maxilla, and bone from the brain case area. There's other specimens that have been referred to Zagongosaurus, at least four of them, and that also includes the dorsal vertebrae, pubis, and ischium. The authors, again, they thought it looked like Omeosaurus, but that the vertebrae was different enough to be its own genus. It had weak, bifurcated, or split neural spines on the vertebrae. There's debate over whether or not Zagongosaurus is a valid genus. It has been synonymized with Omeosaurus and Mementosaurus. Or at least it's been proposed separately, I guess. Yes. It's kind of changed over the years. So in 1983, Dong, Zhou, and Zhang wrote a book, Dinosaurs from the Jurassic of Sichuan, and said that Zagongosaurus fusiensis was Omeosaurus fusiensis. And in the book, they said that there were some time constraints around preparing and studying and putting Zagongosaurus on display so that not all the data could be analyzed, and that led to the material that was analyzed being named Zagongosaurus fusiensis. But books are not peer-reviewed, so that might not necessarily be the most valid way to do that. Yes, but the way that one was written was like a scientific paper, so it's hard to tell. Maybe there is a paper somewhere out there by the same authors or something. Yeah, it was, it was kind of hard to find that one. But anyway, so their analysis led them to reclassify Zagongosaurus as a Meosaurus. And that was also based on its stratigraphic position. It was in the same environment where other Omeosaurus had been found. Real quick, Omeosaurus was named in 1939 by Young and others, but the type specimen was fragmentary, and a lot of it was lost in transport during World War II. So Dong Zhou and Zhang selected a neotype in 1983 when they also synonymized Zagongosaurus with Omeosaurus. Then in 1996, Zhang and Chen suggested that Zagongosaurus, now Omeosaurus, was actually Mementosaurus <laughs> fusiensis. So they all agreed that it was different enough to be its own species. Yep. There's just an argument of whether it was different enough to deserve its own genus. Yes. And they said that it came from a strata between where Omeosaurus and Mementosaurus had been found, but that to them it looked more like Mementosaurus. And then in 1997, Lian Tsai said that it was a nomum nudum. And then in 1999, Valerie Martin Rowan found Zagongosaurus to be valid. Wow. But then in 2019, not that long ago, Wong and others found it to be undiagnostic. So then sort of back to nomum nudum again. <laughs> yeah, sort of unclear. It really bounces around a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and the paratype for Zagongosaurus fusiensis was a maxilla. It had three teeth, and that one was thought to be possibly from a juvenile. Probably should have mentioned that earlier with the other specimens, but there you go. Cool. So no matter what, it's a we've got a decent number of these mementosaurid bones. They got the typical really long neck. It's about 50 feet long. The question just is, is it Zagongosaurus? Is it a subspecies or species of Mementosaurus or a species of Omeosaurus? Or is it 
just not even a good enough find to name as anything specifically. Yeah. Sounds like a case of need more fossils. It does, yeah. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 